Welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Daphne Joy is a 35-year-old model slash actress from the Philippines. She also shares a 10-year-old son with rapper 50 Cents. Child, the other day, Daphne clapped back at 50 Cents on IG. Uh, after dating rumors of her and Diddy had sparked. In response to the dating rumors, Vicky had posted a photo on IG with he and Daphne's son, and they had on glasses. And in the caption, Vicky wrote, Oh shit, that's just your mom over there with Puffy. Remember what I told you, son, the other day, that these bees be crazy. Shaking my head. Daphne quickly responded, now I'm just quoting this is it might be off but in so many ways she said please stop uh, doing this to me I, I never bother you and I'm an outstanding mother to our son but she wrote like a lengthy message that I'm not about to even say or read <laughs> I just want to see what is going on with she and Diddy because uh Diddy, he got Carisha that he bought a car for. Uh, the young lady, Gina, that he's messing with. And Sarah, which is his daughter, Chance's mother, she never left the picture. So I, I want to see where Miss Daphne fit in. What's going on between Miss Daphne and Diddy? I always say that, my readers, for the purposes only. And it may not resonate with you all. Spirit, please show me the energy around. Sean Combs and Daphne Joy's relationship. Sean Combs, Daphne Joy's relationship. Sean Combs. Somebody is trying to move on, move past a situation that was not good for them. That still, they still carry that burden, but they are trying to move on past it. Spirit. The energy around Sean Combs, Daphne Joyce relationship. Sean Combs, Daphne Joyce relationship. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Daphne is trying to take charge of her life. Yeah, she's trying to take charge and move past. Move past. A terrible situation that she was in. Queen of Cups in reverse. And the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah. Upright. This will be a woman with her emotions intact. She's caring, nurturing. But this is in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse can represent a level of damaging emotions. On one's part, they they are letting their self feel things as they come along. It's like they're locking up their emotions, locking up their emotions in that cup and tucking them away. This Queen of Cups may be dealing with a stressful situation such as a breakup, and she's just going going for the ride. The High Priestess in Reverse. So we got the Queen of Cups in Reverse. And the High Priestess in Reverse. Uh, we got events slash people have ruined this queen's trust. Causing her to have a lack of insight. She's not using her intuition because people that ruined her trust is causing her to feel this way. The high priestess in reverse suggests one should stay connected to their gut feeling about any conflict that may arise. They need to listen to their intuition. I feel conversations were had about what one wants with a wealthy man. 
we have a man that values uh, and cherishes a woman beauty and he views he views love he views love or happiness as something that he can buy yeah he views love and happiness as something he can buy he can buy and this queen of cups in reverse she wants to profit she wants to profit from that man I feel one is trying to transition and they are yearning to just move on from a situation. They want to move on from a situation or a relationship that was unhealthy for them. But they they are faced with dishonesty and malice again. They are dealing with that same person that they are trying to move on from. Which is someone who is deceptive, malicious, and unwholesome they know that this person is this way and they just going along with the flow they 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 know they can't stop this person's behavior and they reacting in a productive way i feel this woman and this man they are united in a cause yeah they are united in a cause this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups is unable to let go of a situation because there are amends that still need to take place. Amends that need to be made. She is committed to tackling a conflict. We see the Queen, Queen of Wands doing shuffling. This woman is committed to taking on a conflict by trying to move on. But she is she's just going through this same cycle again. By being attached to a wealthy, greedy man that she can profit from. There is a sexual slash sensual sensual connection. It's like a strong sensual slash sexual attraction <laughs> I do feel that one has made promise or they was promised more and better so someone promised someone that they would give them more and give them better than what they had overall there's there's confusion and an unclear focus about one wants within this situationship one needs to find that one stable thing within all of this confusion and in despair and hold on to that they need to gain a foothold during this time of despair and confusion but the acts of love and finer things in their life has a great impact on them that they will just deal with anything. Let's see how 50 cents feel, y'all, about this situationship with Daphne and Diddy. Spirit, thank you. Please show me Curtis Jackson. How did he feel about Sean Combs and Daphne Joy's relationship? How does Curtis Jackson feel about Sean Combs and Daphne Joy's relationship? swords in reverse Ooh, the magician in reverse the devil in reverse we got somebody that cannot move on y'all they cannot move on the nine of swords in reverse <laughs> someone is trying to move past something that hurt them deeply the nine of swords in reverse reminds one to not ignore problems in their life something traumatic has happened and they need to face it head on. The magician in reverse. 
it, it's time for one to take action to make their dreams come true. The magician in reverse can it indicates untapped potential. Additionally, it, it can indicate manipulation, whether it's indicative of someone in someone's life or one's own behavior. They need to take action to correct it. The devil in reverse. So we got the nine of swords in reverse, the magician in reverse, and the devil in reverse. Ooh, somebody cannot move on, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. We got a trickster that is trying to make a, a trickster that is trying to move past something that has chained him. The magician in reverse, the trickster. The nine of swords in reverse. He's trying to move on. The devil in reverse. Move on from something that has changed him. The devil in reverse can indicate that one will soon break free from a destructive situation by taking responsibility for their actions. They will... They will gain control and walk away from codependency. Child, you know the saying that you never miss somebody until they gone? That's the energy. What one thought was a vital part of their identity is now gone. They are having a hard time. It is time for them to give up trying because... It will be in their best interest. They need to let go of a woman. They are not allowing a woman to move, move on with her life or live her life to the fullest. It's like they are the magician in reverse. They are trying to will something into existence. Uh, by they trying to will something exi into existence by being intrusive to someone's life. We got a man that is attracted to someone. They are power hungry, thirsty for any knowledge about this person. They are focused, inconsiderate, diplomatic, manipulative, and calculated. This man is pushy, cocky, I don't know if I said intrusive, but I'm saying it again. He's intrusive, flamboyant, and harsh. He meddles, he attacks, harasses, intervenes, and he pushes for things that he wants. Overall, y'all, one is having a difficult time. The devil in reverse, they're having a difficult time moving on. Have a difficult time transitioning. It's like a transformative process is at a standstill. They don't know what to do. Because they they don't they don't want to transform. They're not allowing themselves to transform. I feel like this relationship between the man and a woman ended due to one being unemotional by nature. There's conflict between the need for change and the wish for things to just stay as they are forever. One is having a difficult time letting go. It's devil reversed. They cannot let go. They, they will find problematic ways to get their point across and, and they, they just cannot let go y'all and since they are not wanting to move on they not wanted to, they they are not wanting to move on and let go that that's when they will find problematic ways to get their point across they will be difficult with communicate it's be difficult with communicating with them i feel everything revolves around 
sexual slash sensual pleasures that has ended. They were sexually and physically attracted to this person and they cannot let go. It's like the status quo has changed, but it's changing in a slow process due to them not wanting to move on. They are holding on to the pleasures and it's like they are afraid of loss of passion. One is held back or restricted and holding on sexually. It's like this person this person is producing stalker behavior by clinging onto a lover. Child, I did not expect this, y'all. I did not expect this. Because you think 50 Cent would have moved on due to him being involved with his young, beautiful lady, Cuban Link. But Tarot is saying different, y'all. According to Tarot, Curtis Jackson, known as 50 Cent, you are having a hard time moving on. And you was very much still attracted to Daphne in a sensual and sexual way. Let's see how Cuban Link feel, y'all. I want to see how Cuban feel. Spirit, thank you. Please show me what is uh, what is her name? I think her name uh, anyway. Spirit, please show me Cuban Link's feelings towards 50 Cent commenting about Diddy and Daphne relationship. How does she feel about him commenting? She feel trapped. She feel trapped. How does she feel, Spirit? Show me Cuban Link's feelings towards 50 Cent's commenting about Diddy and Daphne's relationship. How does she feel? What is that girl name? She feels betrayed. Yep, she feels betrayed. She feels like he's doing some sneaky stuff. I think her name is Jamira. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to find out her name. We got the two of cups in reverse, the three of swords in reverse, and the lovers, y'all. We got all cards dealing with emotions. Oh, this is how Cuba Leaks is feeling about Diddy commenting underneath his baby mother's new relationship oh this is gonna be juicy y'all the two of cups in reverse the two of cups in reverse because just like a lack of balance in one's relationship they are finding it hard to connect with people right now if one is in a relationship it may suggest that a recent or coming uh, upcoming breakup Issues are likely caused by negative emotions being undisclosed. They need to communicate with each other to find out what one wants and where this is going. Now may be the time to have one of these conversations concerning the relationship with this two of cups in reverse. The Three of Swords in Reverse. Somebody is. Mm, mm, mm. Three of Swords in Reverse can represent a recent breakup. Y'all think they are not together. Her and uh, Cuba Link and, and, and 50. But the Three of Swords in Reverse can represent like a recent heartbreak, which one is recovering from. It's happened and one is just starting to deal with it. You you are on your way to recovery with the three of, three of swords in reverse. The lovers card. The lovers card. So we got the two of cups in reverse, the three of swords in reverse, and the lovers card. Mm. So we got a complete breakdown in communication. One needs to become whole again all these three cards deal with emotions y'all all of them deal with emotions the lover card the lover cards can indicate one is getting ready for something new and exciting coming their way they should take this time to contemplate what they truly desire in, within a relationship so that they can manifest 
a harmonious partnership. I feel one is is going is is going through a phase of self reproach or, or going through a, a situation or relationship which is full of conflict. That would change change one in some type of way, whether one wanted to or not. One has a long journey towards healing. They need to move on from a bad experience. They need to transform shame and guilt into something else. There's a feeling of one's behavior crosses the limit. The limit crosses the limit of abuse and they really need to move on. I feel one is displeased and will let the person know how displeased they are and how they feel feel mistreated. They they feel stuck. They feel that this person that displeased them communicates aggressively and says sarcastic or cynic things to others. They feel that this person needs to say sorry and make amends. I feel conversations were had again and again about the way a person expresses their self. Conversations about one's longings. One has urged and pressured another to do something differently. A woman that is loyal, devoted, and supportive. I feel, yeah, I feel there's a woman that is loyal, devoted, and supportive. I feel one is suspicious about being tricked or manipulated. They feel this person is sneaky and manipulative. They 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 feel like they have they reached an impasse in their efforts to get somewhere. It's like an obstacle between one and what they want. I feel this person is tired of another person's behavior. And they become silent. That's when we see the Eight of Swords. They don't know what to do. They become silent. It's like they unmoved on self-defense. They, so they block out what they, they don't agree with. Overall, one is tired, y'all. They is tired and letting go. They feel another has emotional ties. Uh, and inability to let go of a relationship. Because the feelings involved are still there. They feel that this person tries to influence another's sex life. It's like they are overly possessive. This person feels that the relationship with this dominant person is burdensome. And that person that dominant person just puts stresses puts stress on them. It's, it seems like there is trouble within 50s in Cuban's relationship, y'all. Because there is like a strong energy of her being tired. And exhausted with with fifties ways, she's tired of how he acts. His, she's tired of his dominant ways. Let me see how much time I got left. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Let's see. Let's see. Because I want to see. I want to see. I want to see what is going on with her and fifties relationship. Spirit. Please show me the energy around Curtis Jack Jameer. That's her name. Curtis Jackson and Jameer Hayes relationship. Curtis Jackson and Jameer Hayes relationship. Show me the energy around their relationship. Curtis Jackson, Jameer Hayes relationship. Curtis Jackson, Jameer Hayes. Somebody feel like somebody has done something unjustly to them. Well, we got the sun in reverse, y'all. They got some problems going on here. The sun in reverse. The sun in reverse. Uh, it's like one is probably feeling sad or low on energy. Uh, the sun upright represents like healthy, uh, a healthy relationship, healthy confidence, vitality, and power, which means that one is that it is deserved and and not. At anyone else's expense, but it's in reverse. One needs to bring back their confidence to an honest place. Things are frustrating and unclear, y'all. I feel there there was a very sudden or unexpected ending or painful breakup with these two. Yep, there's a painful longing to be or do something else. 
a breakup which caused profound transformation within oneself. One let go and moved on in whatever direction they feel is right for them. I feel there was recurrent hurt. Getting hurt was inevitable.